Welcome to Sydney. We're at the International Convention Centre Sydney for a unique Magic the Gathering event. Australia's first ever Team Seal Grand Prix, where players join forces for fun, fame and glory. So what do you guys like most about coming to GPs? Uh, the sense of community that you get. Often you, you don't really get a sense to meet a lot of players outside of like your local stores that you go to or the PPTQ in your like circuit in your state. Well, so for me it's definitely a chance to catch up with all the Australian Magic players that you don't get to see except for once or twice a year. Um, you also get to play really highly competitive Magic, which is great. Like, I play Magic competitively and this is the most competitive Magic you can get in Australia. But really it's about the, the event being able to get together with all your friends. Mm. Grand Prix, I think Grand Prix let me meet up with uh, friends over the, over different places. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. yeah, I like I like most number, the event most number come and meet, enjoy the same game is yeah. very, very hot point for me. Yeah, because when yeah. you go into Pro Tour, maybe your friends are not qualified and you can't, you can't join an event with them. So in the Grand Prix, everybody can join. Pro Tour is very, very good. I like very much too, but very yeah. serious. Yes. Yeah. GP, yeah, GP is very, very fun. Very friendly. Yeah, yeah. very fun and also competitive. Which card do you most hope that you'll open in your pool? Glorybringer. Is it Glorybringer? Glorybringer. 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 Well, Glorybringer, obviously. <laughs> dragon, go. Dragon, Angel. Yes. <laughs> Any invocation? Any invocation. I'm trying to think of an invocation. <laughs> Force of Will. What? what? <laughs> Force of Will. Yeah. I don't think it's that good in Limited, but I need money. What are you guys hoping to get out of this GP? I think um, it's always, um, I guess, the dream to make day two. Um, there's Probably about half the team members that have um, played day twos before, so we're hoping that we can get more of the team into day two. Um, also, just, um, yeah, just having a fun time together, um, jamming some side tournaments if we have time, um, and yeah, just yeah, just having fun really. I've never day two to GP, I'm pretty keen yeah, to do that. that. Just trophy? Trophy, yeah. yes. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Yes, of course. That's yeah. the goal for every tournament. Just yeah. get the trophy. Yeah. Yes. Also, last time we lost in semi-final, I didn't get trophy. I, <laughs> that's that. That's a good part of team. It's the only time in my life I stick zero in day two and no trophy. Oh. <laughs> Eliminated. <laughs> but 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 day one they won for me. So that's <laughs> that's the team thing. Maybe I don't day two last time and we top four. So ideally we day two. Um, that's a good start. But. Yeah. I hope it brings us closer together as a trio. Mm, yes. This interview has definitely brought us closer together. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> what are you guys hoping to get out of this GP? What are you aiming for? Free trophies? Yeah, yeah um, I, I really want to win. Because I came second at the last Australian GP. And like, um, after I lost, like, they kind of just like hand, handed me the, play, uh, the plug and like, just like, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's a bit disappointing. Or taking photos so, of the winner. Yeah, so. Um, winning would be great. Um, it's just winning with your friends is just going to mean so much. So, what do you think of Team Sealed in general? It's an awesome event star. Any time where you get to pair with your mates and hopefully win with them, and that sounds a like a pretty good way to spend a couple of good days. Playing with two other people is like uh, much. It, it's really cool. Because you're not only cheering for yourself, you're also cheering for your other teammates and you stress with them. And there's also more on the line for you, technically. Because when I play a personal GP like Limited, if I make a mistake, then it's on me, right? But if I make a mistake with my teammates, and it, it kind of feels like I let them down or something. So it's like extra stress stressful. What do you think of Team Sealed in general? Well, I think it's the most complicated format in Magic. Like, definitely, because the number... If when you open a seal with six boosters and you have to build only one deck, maybe you have 
two options no more and it's pretty clear to, after a few games to know what, what is the best deck. But in team you have a lot of possibilities, a lot of combinations. So yeah, it's very very complicated to, yeah. to, to find the good combination of free deck. And sometimes uh, because multicolor card or you open a lot of common, bad common and playable, it's difficult to make free deck actually. So you have to find the good way. Sometimes it's difficult and a lot of times, the time you have for to build is not enough. Um, what else are you going to do besides the main event? Oh, uh, side events, buying and trading cards. No, I mean, we'll do lots of team drafts if we scrub out, when we scrub out. If. I reckon it's just hanging out, exploring Sydney, going to have a couple of good dinners. It's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm definitely going to be hitting up the Highlander side events. I'm just breaking into that format, so I'm borrowing a deck and I'm going to hopefully get a feel for the format before I build my own deck. What deck are you playing in Highlander? Uh, uh, Grix is good stuff. GPs aren't just about the main event. There's also heaps of side events going on uh, all throughout the weekend. So we're going to go and find out uh, what those people are playing and why they're playing it. Come on. Hey guys, how are you going? You going alright? Alright, so um, uh, what, what are you guys playing today? Uh, we're playing Commander. Commander, yeah. all command. So, um, this is a side event, Commander. This is indeed. This is a fire on demand. Okay. So, did you guys play in the uh, in the event yesterday, the main event? Uh, I didn't know. Uh, I did, yeah. No, I didn't. I wasn't Me neither. So, so you guys are just here to play side events. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> what are you guys playing today? Uh, we're playing Legacy. What do you love about this uh, coming to GPs? Uh, this is my first one. Uh, I've only probably gotten properly into playing like kind of formal magic in the last couple of years or so. Uh, and I've had a good time. I'm from Melbourne, so it's a, it's a nice nice thing to travel and have a weekend away. Yeah, I just like coming to GPs because it's got the great uh, atmosphere, festival, lots of players from all over the place, different countries, uh, so you can play a huge range of events, um, do some shopping, pick up some really hard to find cards. So yeah, I find it's one of those weekends you really look forward to. All right, we've got a pretty amazing game here. Um, so what, what, guy, what are you playing? What format are you playing? Uh, we're doing Amoncat Draft. Amoncat Draft, this is, this is great. So it was a Gideon of the Trials lay claimed here? Yep. What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> um, so did you guys play the main event yesterday? Uh, he did, I did not. Yeah. How did you go in the main event? Uh, I four four one, so I didn't make day two, so I just decided to do side events today. Excellent. So you're going to just back to back drafts all day? Yeah, hopefully. Are you, are you aiming to get anything from the prize wall? Well, it would be nice, but don't go in <laughs> expecting to win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You got, you're aiming for something from the prize wall? Uh, no, I do want a pink mug though. <laughs> a pink mug? I really want the pink mug. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, <laughs> um, so is draft the thing that you um you guys most enjoyed doing in Magic? Yeah, it's my favorite format. I'm all about drafting. Yeah, one of my two favourite formats, yeah. As you can tell by my shirt, I also like drafting. What would each of you t say to someone who's going to come to their first GP, they're thinking about doing it, what would, you, what would you say to them? Look, I'd definitely say, definitely come. Even on our first GP back in Zendika days, we brought a couple of really casual players from our team, and they had a blast. Even not necessarily um, playing in the main event, just you have non-stop side events. Um, it's a massive community feel with Magic, so just getting around people you know, you know, with us flying up to Melbourne, we see Melbourne plays everywhere, so it's just that real feel of almost having a holiday together as a massive group of people. I think you just enjoy the event. Like, yeah. uh, there's not, not lots of chance to play uh, play the game in a competitive way in, with uh, so many people. You, you just enjoy the game and uh, do your best, just that will be fine. Also, I think in Australia you don't have a lot of GP in one year, so all Australian people, all Australian players should join this one. Yeah, it's a very special event for Australia. Yeah. Yeah. GP, GP most important thing is not not to win, not to win, not not serious for win. Just smile is most important. Yeah, enjoy is most important for pro player also. Oh. Yeah, because GP we have many GP per year each year, and we we can play a lot. Every every time focus only win is very very hard. Yeah. Enjoy, very important. Yeah. Excellent. No, no scare. GP is no scare. Come, come. Do it. Like, just get out there. It's a great time and you'll have a lot of fun. <laughs> I would advise someone to read up about the difference between casual play and competitive play. Because the first time that I came to a GP, I found it very helpful to have read beforehand all of the things that I wanted to make sure I did right. 
because it can be very intimidating coming to something this big and not knowing what you are meant to be doing. I'd probably say just come along, even if you're not planning to play anything, it's just come and soak up the vibe of all of the people who are all really enthusiastic about magic. Nothing yeah. quite replicates it in any of the other events that we do across the country. Yeah, you don't have to be playing in the main event, you can just wander around and talk to people. And then if you do decide to play a side event, that's much like lower stakes, so if you're nervous or whatever, you can just do that, yeah. Um, the thing that I would suggest most of someone coming to their first GP is, although the level of play skill is going to be a lot higher, in terms of like the stress of playing Magic, if you're not like aiming for the top, you don't have to take it too seriously. Like if you go into a PPTQ with a certain demeanor, go into FNM with a certain demeanor, you can come to a GP with that demeanor and still have a good fun time. You can win some matches. Um, don't think of it as like super hardcore, super cutthroat, because sometimes your opponents will be, but for most of the time it's pretty laid back and chill. Grand Prix are just like so fun. Like there's events for everybody. There's from like, you know, you could just be like playing Commander or Modern or Standard. Like there's just something for everyone. And you don't even have to play. Like if you're sort of like into the arts, like you can meet the artists. Like if you're just there to trade, like you have so many vendors here, like it's just the best opportunity. So I just feel like no matter like wh what magic means to you, if you come to a Grand Prix, there'll be something there for you. What are you doing at the GP uh, this weekend uh, here in Sydney? Uh, signing cards, play mats, alterations, sketches, the whole shebang. From all the magic cards you've done, do you have a, f a favorite uh, favorite one that you've illustrated? Yeah, uh, Cabal Ritual um, was, was really cool. I got to use a good friend of mine, Sarah, um, as one of the main characters in, in the scene. Uh, well, I guess the, the Cabal Ritualist in the, in the scene. Um, and she's actually a, um, she's one of my best friends and she's also an illustrator on magic as well. So that was, that was cool. Yeah. So, uh, Kieran, thank you for making this playmat. It's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. If people want to find you, uh, they want to get in touch with you, what, where can they find you? Uh, Facebook. <laughs> yeah. um, and my website, kieranyano.com. All right, we're back with one of our teams from Friday. We're going to find out how they went in the main event. Guys, how did you go? Yeah. Not well. <laughs> yeah. Not well? Not well. No. Yeah, we, we ended up 2-4 for the day. Uh, and it got to 2-2, two -two and we are like, oh, maybe we're still alive, but didn't get there. How did you guys go in the actual event? Well, to say that we're not in our shirts is probably a bit of an indication as to how we did um, on the main event. Um, we went 4-4, four and four, so a little bit disappointing. Um, but all in all, it was a really cool experience. We had a lot of fun. I think with the pool we had day one, I was pretty happy to day two and get to do it all again mm. with two of my best buds. It was good fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I had a fun time. I wish we did better. We yeah, ended up boys. ninth, which was um, 10 wins, 3 losses and 1 draw for ninth place. So we were one win short of top four. We go X three one and we are f we finish at X. Eight. Eight? Top, yeah. eight. top eight. Top eight. Top <laughs> eight. No. no. Single elimination yeah. is from top four. So, yeah, it's so team it's, yeah. So yeah. it's okay. So uh, what was in your pool? What did you? What good cards did you have? We had some amazing cards. We had Angel of Sanctions. We opened an, in, an invocation oh. of Ketra the True. Yeah, right. So that was pretty exciting. I uh, was pr pretty happy about that. Uh, the Hydra, the... The Hydra was probably the next best thing. <laughs> our, our pool was unfortunately kind of on the low end, <laughs> yeah. So, who had the play of the day? I think we had a really interesting moment in one of the rounds where I basically played the White Monument um, and had probably around about 20 creatures on the board. Really stood our game, not much was going on because he had a massive amount of creatures himself. Um, and then I top deck um, that one of the white pump ca um, cards that pumps uh, You know Ketra's name? Yeah, that's the one. Name, yeah. Uh, and yeah, ended up getting there with that. Uh, it was good to have these two boys with me when it happened, giving me some advice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I attacked with like Soul Stinger and like another creature, and my opponent like oh, yeah. would think that I would have a trick based on the way that I attacked. So they blocked with Naga Oracle. A, a mind game? Yeah, it was a mind game because they blocked, and then I got to play a second Soul, Soul Stinger put two more counters on it, and then put four counters on their flying indestructible angel, to which I had no outs, oh, other than this very weird line, which thankfully went my way. That was really sweet. That um, is actually a really sweet play. I had, I had one very excited situation. Re, resolve that situation. Uh, when I have six mana, opponent had Gideon. I say pass turn. Uh, next time he played full tap Nissa. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I cycling with four mana, six, five guy. Touch basic land, draw card, play cancel to Nissa, and next time I play Lily and reanimate. 
reanimate that. Ah, yeah, yeah so three so mystic so layer planeswalker in <laughs> two turns. Yeah, it was very happy, and I, I won. <laughs> what are you guys going to do for the rest of the weekend while you're here now? Team draft. Uh, probably just team draft. I want to go to Opera House tomorrow and walk around with smartphone very much, I will. <laughs> All right, so uh, what are you doing for the rest of the weekend? We're uh, just about to jump into Chaos Sealed, um, which is always a fantastic experience. We've had disappointing day twos. We've tended to go in it. Um, just great fun opening, different packs throughout the history of Magic and just playing some random matches. Yeah, I think it really plays to our strength of opening great cards. I think it's one thing that we've been able to really leverage over the last couple of days. <laughs> what are you going to do for the rest of the weekend? Chaos Sealed. Chaos We're Sealed. Ready. All in Chaos Sealed. Oh, good luck, guys. I actually have to go right now. Um, crush it. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Two days of intense competition boil down to one final showdown between Hall of Famer Yuya Watanabe and Canberra's Jim Wilkes. Yuya has whittled Jim's life total down to one point, but the tide has turned and the board has stabilised. Either player needs just one more threat to overcome the stalemate. Jim, Ivan, Simon, how does it feel? You guys have just uh, won Australia's first uh, Team Limited GP. How's it feel? Incredible. It's great. Yeah, bloody yeah. brilliant, man. That was pretty intense what just happened at the end there. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to play a finals and you have to play against uh, Yuya for the very final match of the GP, it's... Uh, <laughs> Listen, enjoy this moment. Wilkes, Simon, Littleway, Ivash. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, great job, man. Oh. Look, we'll let you get, like, guys get um, to celebrating, uh, but uh, this is amazing. It's great for Australian Magic. Uh, 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 you guys are great. Thank you very much. Thank Super you. Bumps. Yeah. Go bask in it. We're going to... So we're just on our way into the Grand Prix and... <gasps> it's Kevnet!